Hello beautiful souls. So there's a lot of emotional energy coming out here. Also, this person, this is most likely a masculine energy, is recognizing that there's a very powerful and intense energetic bond between the two of you that they can't fully grasp or understand, but that they're consciously realizing is there with the crown chakra in the upright position. In the extended version of the reading on Patreon, I will be reading more into this masculine feeling anxious as they see you in this really beautiful energy, perhaps being heartbroken over you, recognizing that there's some deeper bond here. So we'll be reading into what this masculine is really thinking, feeling, and experiencing. We do have the door to spirit, so I sense that this person is going through a very intense spiritual awakening at this time. In the extended version of the reading, I will also be channeling more messages from your spirit guides and higher self. Anything that you might need to know at this point on your life path. All I'll say about this card is that, for someone listening, there may have been a bit of chaotic energy around you recently. This could be a sense of greater chaos in your life, in relationships, I'm hearing disrupted. You may have felt disrupted by certain unexpected circumstances of your life. Things happening out of the blue that may disrupt the rhythm or flow of your life. This card could also symbolize someone even particularly dreaming about chaos or dreaming about natural disasters, for example. You may have a dream of some kind of natural disaster that is, in a sense, you kind of channeling into this collective chaos energy. And I see that through all of this, you are this beacon of unconditional love and light, with the angel of love upper right. I'm hearing, it's not you. I don't know who needs to hear this, but whatever I'm hearing, it's like artificial chaos. Whatever chaotic energy may be around someone at this time, and again, I feel this won't be for everyone. I feel a message coming through that this is the unconscious collective reacting to your energy of love and perhaps reflecting or projecting that fear of what you are illuminating within them back onto you. A lot of this projection from the unconscious collective can actually happen really subconsciously. For some reason, I'm seeing something about hate comments or someone gossiping about you. Again, this won't be for everyone but particularly if I'm channeling into someone who has an online platform or presence, or someone who might be in the spotlight in some sense, you may feel as though you've attracted some kind of negative attention or again, just some chaos energy at times from others around you. And I see that once again, this isn't you. This is actually others' reaction to what you illuminate within them. I keep seeing that symbolism of you being like a lighthouse, guiding ships back to the shore in the middle of a storm. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. My beloved love. And I feel your guide saying, you are strong, you are stable, you are resilient within this chaos, within this storm. I'm hearing, the storm can't touch you. It can't touch your light, your essence, your beautiful high vibrational energy. And I do see that as you maintain that sense of internal stability and light and love you are actually leading and guiding others, shifting others who might be living really unconsciously in a really powerful way. So I don't know who needed to hear that. I really hope that message reached you. I also saw the number 404 on the recording timer just a minute ago. And what first popped into my mind about this number is sometimes 404 is an error message that comes up when something isn't running right on a computer program or on a website. And I'm hearing that it's almost like you are this glitch in the matrix, you are this anomaly, because in a world of people who are living so entrenched in fear and at a really low vibrational level of consciousness, you are emanating this kind of light that feels almost magical or surreal to others. So I see that beyond what you may consciously realize, anyone who's interacting with you or your energy at this time is really feeling. I'm hearing enthralled by this kind of magical energy that they're sensing around you, mesmerized by it. I'm hearing the word admired, like you are being heavily admired at this time by people that you might not even realize are admiring you. Particularly, if you are in the middle of this chaos, perhaps at times feeling a little bit chaotic, feeling a little bit unsupported, know that you again have this kind of internal stability. 
And also, even if at times you do feel like you are attracting some unconscious projection from others or from the collective, know that there are many, many people who are watching you in a very admiring way, even if it's at a distance. I am picking up on a masculine energy who is admiring a divine feminine here. Now, of course, when I use these labels, masculine and feminine, these are labels to describe energy, so take them as they resonate with you personally. These may also connect with your internal divine masculine or divine feminine energy because we do all have a balance of each within us. With the Thinking Man card, I feel this card coming out way at a distance from the Angel of Love, representing your angelic energy. So I'm really getting the sense, divine feminine, of a masculine energy admiring you or watching you from a distance here, very fixated on you, heavily as well. I will be channeling more into this. Who is this masculine energy that is fixated on divine feminine? Third eye chakra in the upright position. So this is someone who's going through a spiritual awakening, feeling as though their third eye is opening. They are expanding their horizons spiritually.